Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I'm going to open up two envelopes. I've got an envelope from Germany and I've got an envelope from the Netherlands. And this is, this is something special. Here it says aangetekend. That means signed post. Like I get a sign for it. And then you know that it contains something good, right? Something expensive. So that's in this, but I'm going to start uh, with this letter from Matt. So uh, with Matt, I actually traded, well, not really traded, but he asked me for a card with a stamp of the channel on it. So here you can see, for example, the stamp of Timmy Talk. So I sent him two basic lands to put in his deck, which is pretty cool, you know? I think he's gonna play with those. So that's uh, that's an honor, you know? That's cool to know that I'm in your deck. Um, and he said, you know, I'm gonna send you something back, some stamped cards as well. So I'm curious to see what his stamp looks like, what kind of cards are going to be in here. So really nice, you know, to get in touch with people and, uh, you know, kind of make these, these funny trades, send some cards out. I'm always open for trading, by the way, and sending cards. I just I just love to do that, you know. We used to trade so much more than we do these days. Always check if the envelope's empty. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Old school Berlin. Oh, how sweet is that? Look at that. That is beautiful. That is really nice. I really, really appreciate it. If you also have a cool old school group and you have a stamp, let me know. I'd love to like send you a stamped land and you sent me one in return. Look at that. So this island is going to see some play. Absolutely. And um, actually, funny enough, I think the mountain is going to see some play first because I have uh, a deck here that is almost completely revised. This Disco Troll. I've played it on the channel as well, I believe, a few times. And uh, this is just perfect for in there. I love it. Super, super cool. So thank you so much. So that's kind of my first first part of the mail day here. Little modest mail day. Old school Berlin. Actually, I'm, I'm in Berlin every now and then. So when I'm there, we should really uh, play a game. Um, let's open this. You know, this is the big shabam. This is what it's all about today. Um, let me get the scissors because I have no idea where to start with this. Is it here? always so risky isn't it you're like I don't want to cut through the cards but then again you know I gotta open it somewhere so this is an order from cart market ah thank you bedankt Thomas thank you greets bill I always appreciate it when they just write something down even if it's just a short message uh, message it's really appreciated oh I can see the card already oh can you see it oh god what up I actually already have an Italian copy but recently I started to play with a deck uh, called Thomas's Toy Store. And in that deck, I play with this Italian copy. And because the rest of the deck is English, you know how that goes. It's slowly starting to annoy me more and more and more and more. And then I thought, okay, you know, let's, let's see if I can kind of save up and get this card in English. And, and so I did. Here it is. It's Mirror Universe. I mean, this card is so unique. Let's just free it here from the top loader. It's really well packed. I appreciate that, Bill. That's great that you did that. And there are also some other cards, I believe. But of course, the focus is on this one. But let's also check out the other cards. Let's try to free those as well. Let's see. Life is complicated. Opening these things is not always easy. Although this is not too bad. Okay, so we've got whatever. Whoop. Oh, we got a beautiful swamp. Look at the condition of this swamp. That is beautiful. So what often happens, I know I've said it a few times on this channel already. Wow, this is in really good good condition. I'm actually gonna have to sleeve this up. Um, what happens is I order like an expensive card, but then Without paying any extra shipping, you can order some more cards. So then I always kind of look around in the account to just get some cheap stuff. Look here, Giant Gross, nice little Giant Gross. And I can, again, really nice. Well, this is not fantastic, but it's okay. So I can just check my current revised collection and see if these would be upgrades. And if not, I can always play them in one of my revised decks. 
But let's focus on the card of the moment here, Mirror Universe. So Mirror Universe, 60 cast, card from a Legends artifact on the reserve list. And this card does something unique, so I'm just gonna read it out to you. There's a lot of text here. So it says, sacrifice Mirror Universe during your upkeep and trade your number of life points with your opponent. For example, if you have two life points and your opponent had 10, you would now have 10 life points and your opponent would have two. Effects that prevent or redirect damage may not be used to counter this change. So not loss of life, because it's not always a loss, but this change of life. I love that word, change of life. And this is truly a unique card. I also absolutely adore the art. I do have to be honest, whenever I play this card, it's like a red flag for my opponent, right? Like a red flag in front of a bull. And I usually um, get killed. <laughs> like I never never get a, get a chance to actually use the Mirror Universe. Um, and I think Mirror Universe, it's all about the timing, isn't it? I mean, when you have it in hand, of course, you got to have six mana, right? But you don't want to play it out too early because you first have something like, okay, let my opponent, you know, deal some damage to me first, you know, because that's basically damage that he's going to deal to himself if I, you know, get around to changing our life totals. So it's a very strategic card, but you don't want to wait too long with playing it out because if you wait too long, you're simply dead, you know, because because when you're going to play the Mirror Universe, you know that your opponent is going to do whatever he or she can do to, you know, make an end uh, of your life right right now. Another way of, of course, playing it is more as this standstill card where you play Mirror Universe and your opponent's like, oh, I've got no answer. We're both on, I don't know, I'm just saying that we're both on 12. I don't want to attack you because if I put you lower, you're just going to trade lives. It's not good for me. So then your opponent's going to wait until he can kill you with one single alpha strike, right? So it's it's a very interesting strategical card. And that's probably why I like it so much. And the ability, of course, is absolutely unique. So I felt like, okay, this is worth, you know, spending, uh, you know, a big amount on. Um, I think it was... 200 euros or, or more probably, I, I can't remember. That's that's the nice thing about my memory. I, I spend it, I forget it, and then it comes like, in this case, a couple of weeks later, and I'm, I'm super stoked to have the card. Anyway, this is going to go in my uh, deck Tonis' uh, toy store. I'm gonna show you a little picture here of the actual deck, and it's gonna replace my Italian version. I'm gonna keep the Italian version though, because I played it in another deck that's completely Italian. That's uh, that's how nuts I am. I guess I guess I could trade it you know, if, if the time's right. But I don't really like to, uh, you know, trade away cards, actually, or sell cards. I hardly ever sell any cards. Anyway, uh, this is the Timmy Talks mail day of today. Thank you very much for watching. And man, I, I, the longer I look at these lands, the more I like them. I really enjoy this stamp. So cool. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And before you go, please take a moment to subscribe and hit that bell. Thank you for doing that or ring that bell. Hit that bell, click that bell, ring that bell. And of course, take a moment to like, share and comment on this video. All these things are free and really help the channel move forward. Thank you very much for watching. And now let's go to the end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? 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 Somebody can see.